If you don't watch Fox News, here are five totally real and definitely not made up stories you might have missed this week. After an embarrassing launch to his presidential campaign, Ron DeSantis tried to make up for it with his half hour interview on Fox News. I'm a big boy, I can take it. Where he launched a frankly insane accusation at California. They want to have um, abortion all the way up till birth. I think they actually allow it post birth, if you can believe that. You're right. I actually can't believe that. Post birth. Last month, HGTV stars Chip and Joanna Gaines went to Seoul to a White House dinner celebrating 70 years of friendship between the US and South Korea. It's been over a month, but Fox was finally ready to comment on this story. Here's a question worth asking Would Chip and Joanna go to a state dinner hosted by the Trump administration? Hmm. This entire channel is just a joke. Hmm. My alma mater, George Washington University, got a shout out this week after they changed their mascot from the Colonials to the Revolutionaries. No name is safe. She doesn't even go here. No name at all. Conservatives have been whining about this for like five years, which is extremely funny for many reasons. Most of all, because nobody at GW cares about school spirit. Oh no, it's there. This whole thing is so stupid. Geraldo Rivera revealed his plan to stop shoplifting. He is the Geraldo plan. I have a plan. And boy, is it stupid. You have to ban masks. Masks have served their purpose. Now they are nothing but a disguise. And finally, just like you shouldn't be allowed to wear a mask, you also shouldn't be allowed to work from home. At least not until you fall in love. Here's my rule. You can't work from home until you find your love life and get that under control. Imagine your boss rejecting your work from home request because you're too single. Just writing LOL loser in the notes section. Uh, I love Lamar. I love La More, but you gotta get out of your house to find it. <laughs> I'll see you on Friday for next week's recap. Please keep your fingers crossed that I don't get fired for being a spinster.